Good afternoon. I'm standing here on South Road in Wivelsfield Green. I'm actually positioned directly opposite the little primary school, but I've started my video here because of the convenience, whereas the house I'm about to show you is actually this end of terrace house with a dormer window in the roof. It's actually in a cul-de-sac called Fair Place, and there's a pathway through to it from here. But where we are here, if you literally walk not even 100 yards, turn right, onto um, North Common Road, you've got the village store with its post office and delicatessen. Just beyond that, you've got the pub. And obviously the school is why so many people want to live in Wivelsfield Green, because this is one of these excellent primary schools. I think it gets a really good rating on Ofsted. Uh, but the other lovely thing about Wivelsfield, it's totally surrounded by countryside. So if I go round the corner, you're on South Road, we're up 100 Acre Lane, you're into the woods. And in the other direction, you've got footpaths in every direction you can wish. And Wivelsfield Green, it adjoins um, the Ditchling Common Nature Reserve at one end and uh, Chaley Common Nature Reserve at the other end. But this is the house. Now, this was built, uh, we believe, around 1989. And the same family have owned it ever since. Um, however, they, the actual son bought his parents out um, about four years ago, uh, four or five years ago, and Hatchie has done all the loft conversion but I'm just going to talk, show you around from the front here because you come in to um, Fair Place off of South Road. So you went round the corner from where I started the video. But when you come around here, you get a better impression of the cul-de-sac. So it's all very nice. But come and have a look. All this parking is parking for residents. It's not allocated. Obviously, you've got a front garden with this one. And then come and have a nose inside. So, as mentioned, the family have had it over 30 years. They've done various bits to it. There's a few bits and pieces you'd want to do, a bit of cosmetic attention, but generally speaking, it's a lovely big family house and has got a lot of flexibility. So, first things first, downstairs, the entrance hall, you've got engineered oak flooring down here. They've painted all the staircase, all very nice. And at the front, we've got a kitchen, decent sized kitchen overlooking the front of the house. There's a built-in oven and hob. Every, all the other appliances are freestanding, which might be for sale. The property's actually being offered for sale with no chain. So if you wanted to move quite quickly, this is absolutely ideal. And then the sitting room, really nice size room here. And this spills out to the garden. In fact, while we're here, I'll show you the garden. The garden is 41 feet in distant, in uh, total length. It's about 21 feet wide. And obviously got this big, useful workshop shed at the back. And obviously all the kids' play area. And this is where you come around the back, you get an idea of the size of the house. Now, they did the loft conversion a few years ago. Um, it was meant to be two bedrooms and a bathroom. Instead, they've had it as three little bedrooms up on that top floor. So you've got a bit of potential to play around with that. But this is all very nice. And this is predominantly facing west. So it's a nice, we're here late in the day. So it's now gone four o'clock in the afternoon. So the sun is now setting here. Hence why this is an absolute sun trap. And then come upstairs. For those of you who don't know Wivelsfield Green, it's uh, a little village just southeast of Haywards Heath or northeast of, Hay of Burgess Hill. Both the towns have railway stations, and just to confuse the hell out of everyone, there is a station called Wivelsfield, which is actually in Burgess Hill. It's not over here in Wivelsfield Green. Um, and that's your nearest railway station. That's 2.8 miles from where we're sit standing. However, Haywards Heath has got a main station. That's 4.2 miles from where we are, and that offers you a faster rail service to London Bridge and Victoria. So this is the biggest bedroom at the back. Could have easily had an ensuite bathroom in this section here. Airing cupboard there. The second bedroom, which is another nice size double. This one's got the bay window to the front. Big recess there for a wardrobe if you wanted it. And then on this level, you've got the bathroom. So originally it was a very big two bedroom end of terrace house. Obviously, it's now been converted. This bathroom has obviously been redone in the last few years. Shower unit there, of course. And then up on the top floor, this is where it gets a bit interesting. So they've got young children, so that's how they live in it. But you could do what you like up here. So let me show you. So this little bedroom, this was meant to be the bathroom. And I believe all the plumbing or drains are in place to do that. So obviously, that's got its own window. So it would be a nice bathroom with natural ventilation. The back bedroom, nice size double as well. The cat's having a nice time and that's overlooking the back garden. And that's the little primary school beyond. If you're looking at 
if you've got young children, you're looking at schools, look at Withersfield Green and see how well it does. And the children from the village catch a bus from just around the corner to Chaley Secondary School out in South Chaley, which is another amazing school. There's only about 700 kids in it. And then there's front bedroom, not quite as big because you've got the sloping ceiling, but a nice size room as well. Lovely size children's room. And that's got the view to the front. So it gives you a good idea of the cul de sac. So there's plenty of parking in the cul de sac. You've got the view to the fields over there. I believe they're going to be building on those fields at some point. Wivelsfield's been had a bit of development in the last few years and a bit more to come, but it really has made the village. I mean, it's already got a fantastic community. Wivelsfield is one of those villages you drive through it and you don't think you've missed anything. But from a family point of view, having sold houses around here for 35 years, a lot of people who move to Wivelsfield will never move out unless of course health or whatever, but a great, great place, lovely community. And again, the schools are what make it. So just to recap these, this floor here, lovely bathroom. And I'll give you another quick look at the kitchen and the living room. Nice big hall. And the house has been extended, but there's a bit of potential to add a few more things to it if you wanted to. And again, that was the living room. So nice hours lounge facing predominantly west. So again, the sun is setting over in that direction now. But there you go. That is number 19 Fair Place in Wivelsfield Green. It's for sale through Mansell McTaggart. If you'd like to have a look, please give us a call or follow us on YouTube or all our social media channels. That's where all these videos are shown first. Thanks for watching.